Jesus Christ. What a mistake. Why did we ever hire this idiot? Alana, when's the food getting here? I'm starving. Just the nature of Scream itself and deconstructing horror and horror movies. And now we're kind of taking it to another level <laughs> um, with this and, um, you know, having it happen in the, the real world outside the movie and br 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 bringing the ghost face killer in. So that's pretty cool. Um, it was a really good idea. Um, everybody did a great job. It was, it was fun. It was, uh, you know, it was entertaining. Um, it was a, yeah, it was a nice twist on, um, on Scream. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Wes Craven would approve of, um, you know, the way that they've taken it to uh, yet, yet another level here. Love the concept here. That storyline was so realistic with what's happening right now with all the reboots and the revivals that we've been getting. Like literally everything's being redone. So the plot felt really, really current. It's been a long time since I've seen the Scream movies, but this certainly brought me back. They nailed a lot of the elements that were staples of those movies. The phone calls, that voice, the music. The nostalgia was real while watching this. Um, I love that they updated a bit with the text messages appearing on screen and the reveal at the end was awesome. Really captures that same sort of vibe and tone, that really sort of dry uneasiness. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it found a way to just really bottle that and serve it up well here. Um, I thought this one was just, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of good uh, suspense where it's needed and just the right amount of horror in there just makes this whole sort of piece just really tantalizing in a way that needs to be experienced. So when I saw Ghostface, the nostalgia hit me because it brought back all the memories of Scream and there was a bit of satire to this film, which reminded me a little bit of Scary Movie, but not in a broad comedic way, but in how they tackled the subject of those face. I appreciated the suspensefulness that it did. It was really well thought out and done and the actors were really great in it. Overall, this was a good watch for me. Um, I really think you did a great job of, you know, creating your own story with this familiar character. And I particularly thought the actress that played Melanie just nailed her role. Overall, you guys did a really great job and just the um like special effects makeup was great and really believable looking and i thought the twist ending was so clever and is something that i didn't expect i thought that the film 25 years after woodsboro did a great job of building suspense throughout by leaving us clues as to what was coming and showing us only pieces of the action or the aftermath of the action i think that the film felt dynamic and like it kept moving and there was a lot going on, even though we didn't get to see the gorier parts of the action and we were in this confined space. There was a lot to read into this on the, um, the personalities of the people who are making these films and uh, the whole uh, shape of the film and the genres and stuff and uh, how um, and uh, ambitions and how those can twist people uh, so yeah there's a lot uh, contained in this short film I felt and uh, it was uh, just a you know a, a fun romp through uh, a film uh, uh, creative uh, space and uh, yeah with uh, uh, some chuckles along the way mm -hmm.